What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're at a unique job today and we're gonna be the trim doctors today because we'll just say, this is why you don't let your framer do your trim. This is why you don't let your landscaper do your tile and the list goes on and on. Usually people have a specialty and it's probably better to just stay with that specialty. Jack of all trades is very rare. It's a rare animal, it is out there, but I'm not one of them and most people aren't either. So with that said, I'm gonna show you guys the baseboard fail in here and it's not a big deal. It's a really bad job, but it's not a, it's not a hard fix. So what I like to do with these crown stops is just put them in position so they hold the base up against the fence. So I'll take a piece of base, set it on the saw, and then push this stop up against it. And then when I go to make my miters, that's gonna prevent any kind of bowing out. It's gonna just keep it nice and straight up against the fence. And that's gonna make for a cleaner install because there's one corner in there in particular that was basically a miter that just went horribly wrong when it was cut on the saw. I can tell that that piece of molding in there was not up against the fence when it was cut. So now when we put our base up against the fence of our saw, you just push this crown stop up against the base, tighten it, and now every time you drop your base in there, like I'm not even holding it anymore, and that's just one. And I can do this side as well. You know, you're gonna have to keep your hand against it to push it up against the fence, but it's not gonna really allow it to tilt and you can see I can slide this 16 foot piece to the end and have one crown stop hold it and I'm not even holding it. So that's a really cool trick. Once I started doing that, I was able to be more efficient by myself, which is good because I'm gonna be cutting here all day while John installs. So I won't need that extra hand to hold those pieces on the end. But we'll go in here and I'll show you guys what's going on. Some of the miters where they come together are just absolutely just bad and I'm not saying that in a condescending way these were framers who installed this base and trust me you don't want me framing your house so this isn't just a trash talk but this is what I was talking about and how the uh, the board doesn't set up against the saw I can tell this board right here was leaning kicked out this way when they cut it on the miter saw and it looks like this one was but not as much and then over here where the sliding barn door moves out of the way. They just mitered these. And this is a bull nose corner. So we'll just pop all this off and, and round it over. But same thing over here. Just We'll just rip all that off and, and bull nose it. And then it keeps going down there. So we'll, we'll take all this out unless it's just a straight to straight cut. But most of the whole house is like this. And the homeowner already ripped most of it out. say that's 16 and three quarters I don't know what would you guys call that let me know down in the comments just kidding this is 16 and three quarters and you got to take into it and you count that little pull on the tape measure end so that'll be perfect 16 and three quarters there 22 and seven eighths
as many of you know, my coping saw of choice is this beast angle grinder right here. We were doing some cutoff work, so I'm gonna change this back out to the flap disc. This is a 40, 40 grit? Yeah, 40 grit flap disc. So there we go, that looks more like it. We got our nice bull nose transition here. Got our nice tight inside corner over there. And this is what we're gonna be doing all day. So I'm gonna get on it, guys. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be doing this all day, tearing that stuff out and putting the new stuff back on. So hopefully you found this useful, but I gotta hurry up and get to work because I got a huge tile job that I start tomorrow and I need to finish this so I don't have to come back here tomorrow. So anyways, we're going to end it there and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Just kidding. Obviously I don't have a huge tile job tomorrow, but I am going to end the video and I will say, sorry, I missed you guys last week. I had a huge ceiling. We put nine beams in this big living space and it took everything out of me. I was ready for the weekend, but I'll show you guys some pictures of that here. and I'll do some videos on this in the future if the opportunity presents itself. We were just pressed for time and we did all of that. Plus three or four rooms of crown and a V-groove ceiling in five days. It was a rough week, but hey, when the work's there, you gotta take it. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.